Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, classification schema, and training samples. In this video, I will start with what is a classification schema and how do we modify it to match our need. I will also show you how to use different classes of the schema to train a sample for supervised classification. A classification schema determines the number and types of classes to use for classification. This is very useful especially for supervised classification where we need to train the classifier to assign pixels or objects to a given class using training sample. The class categories are determined by the chosen classification schema and the training samples can be generated using the training sample manager pane in the classification wizard. We will start with the supervised classification method and object based classification type. Next, we will select the default classification schema. We will be modifying this in the next step. In this exercise, we are interested in two broad classes, pervious and impervious surfaces. However, if we start with only two classes, our result will be too generalized. That's why we will add subclasses under this two parents and then we will select our segmented image if you haven't done your segmentation already in the next step it will first take you to the segmentation and then it will take you to the training sample manager which will be our next step here you get to see our default schema right here here we will be creating training samples First, we will modify this default schema. We do not need these default classes, so you can right click at them, select remove class and remove them one by one. Once you have removed all of them, click this plus sign to add your own classes. Now first I am going to create my two parent classes. In the add new class window for name, type impervious, for value I will go with 20 and the color I'm going to choose a light gray. Similarly, create your pervious layer but with a different value and it's better to have a different color. I'm going with this for green. Our next step will be to create subclasses. Under impervious, we will be creating three classes, buildings, paved surfaces and roads. And under pervious, we will be creating three classes as well, vegetations, water body and grassy vegetation. Subclass creation is the same as the class. So select your parent class and then click on this plus sign. Give it a name, a value and a color. You have your first subclass. Following this, create all your subclasses before proceeding to the next step. Now I have created my two parent classes and these six subclasses. I will first save this customized schema for future use. When you click at this save as button, it will open up a file explorer window, give it a name and it will be saved as .ecs file. Even after you save it with your customized name, the name may not change, but remember you have already saved it and in future calculation, you can always call it back. In the next step, we will start creating training samples using these classes. To do that, I will first switch on my segmented image right here. Please watch our image segmentation video tutorial to learn more about segmentation process. Now select any of your subclass. I'm going with the vegetation and then select this polygon button here. And now draw a polygon where you are certain to have vegetation. And I am going to draw my first polygon right here. See, we have a row here with the class name vegetation, number of samples 1 and pixel percentage 100%. Next, we will keep adding some more samples here. It is important to cover a high number of pixels for each land use type. While the polygon tool is active, press the C on your keyboard and then drag the image to move around. Now I have created few polygons for the vegetation class. Next, I want to select all of them. Now select this collapse tool 
to merge all of them into one class. Do the same thing for all of these subclasses. Here I have finally finished drawing polygons for all my classes. As you can see in this table it shows number of samples and pixel percentages I have covered for each classes. Finally once you are done with your polygons make sure to save this customized schema. To recap we discussed what classification schema is, where to use it and how to modify a schema to match your classification needs. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also subscribe and ring that bell.